In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a product into Google Merchant Center. Hey guys, it's Dustin with Clicks Geek here. Before we get started, if you can please click the thumbs up below, I would greatly appreciate that. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more great content. We're pretty far along in the process. We have signed up for Google Merchant Center. We have verified the website from Shopify. We have set up our shipping. We have our sales tax set up. If you didn't get to see those videos, please look back on our channel and review those videos if you need help on those. Now we're going to move into adding the product. So there are a few ways to do this. The easiest, most direct way is adding a product directly to Google Merchant Center using their platform. That's one way. You can also add multiple products using a spreadsheet or you can use a more advanced technique using a software which creates a product data feed. For this example, we're gonna add one product at a time into Google Merchant Center directly so you can get the idea of how this process works. So we are on Google Merchant Center page and right here it says add one product at a time. We're gonna click that. It's asking us for a few things here. Our targeted country in this situation is United States. If you're targeting different countries for the products that you're adding, you can choose those as you will. So United States, we are focused on English speaking. We do want free listings because it's essentially free traffic, right? This isn't always like a ton of traffic, but granted it's free traffic. So we do want to keep this on. This is where you would add an identifier. If your product has an identifier, like a UPC, that's an example, or a JAN or ISBN. So in our situation, we do not have an identifier for the product. Google uses this to help consumers find the exact products that they're looking for. So let's say that you have a book and it has a specific ISBN. You would put this in here. Because if a consumer is searching on Google for a specific ISBN for a book, then Google would use this to present your product to the consumer. So that's why the, this kid, this could be important. For our test product, we don't have this, so we just uncheck that. Do we have an, an internal ID or a SKU? We can leave this blank so that's auto assigned because we don't have an internal uh, ID or SKU for this test product. Okay. Brand is going to be ClickSkeek just for our situation here. Okay. <clears throat> so let me grab our title. Okay. So if we're in our store, here's our title. I'm just going to grab that really quick. I'm going to paste that into there. We already have our brand. We're going to grab our description. This is used on Google. This will show up on the listing. So we're going to drop that in there. Let me grab that. Okay. And I'm paste that in there. All those details. Okay. The next thing we're going to use here is our landing page link. And then we just paste that in there. I'll show you what that's going to look like. So we just grab this from the URL on this. You can see the product page for this test product here. So I'm going to grab this. Okay. And then I'll drop this in here. As far as this, we can actually copy the, the image uh, URL and, and put this in here, or we can just upload the product image. It's a lot easier for that. We can get around Google having to crawl our page for the image and all that. I'm just going to download the product image and upload it onto Google directly. So I just click browse here. Here we go. There's the image. So we have our image on there. So now we're going to do our price and availability. And this is the actual price directly to the consumer. This isn't going to be your cost. This is going to be the price of the product that you're selling it for. So I'm going to drop that in there. And then this is where you can set the availability. You can change these. If you're currently out of stock, or limit, limited availability, or you're, it's a pre-order, you can set those items in here. For this test product, we're going to do in stock. The condition of the product is going to be new. So this right here is an area to display whether I have a variant or not. So for instance, uh, colors, sizes, genders, age groups, 
So for instance, like this, I could do colors. And as you can see here, I can just turn these on and off uh, each, each of these show up just by highlighting, clicking those. So let's do a color here. So for instance, our color for this product is natural. I don't have an item group ID. We can assign that there, or it's going to be auto assigned if left empty. So we'll just go for that down below here. We already have the shipping and the tax set up, which is going to auto assign to the product. So next we have the option to set ad campaigns and other configurations. And we have the option to set Google product categories. These just allow Google to categorize your product. Uh, we don't have to add this. What we can do for now is we can just allow Google to auto assign that they have the ability to do that. We can double check that once it has been generated just to make sure it's correct. If they don't do it, then we can just search on Google and we can actually grab the proper string for the product category and drop that in there. So we don't have to do that now. We're just going to click save. So congratulations, you have added your product and Google is now reviewing it. What's going on right now is Google is going to review your product. It's going to take anywhere from 24 hours to three days, depending on how busy they are. If something does need to be changed on the product, then we can just come in here. We can change what Google Merchant Center needs us to change in order for us to move forward. But I would like to say, if you do have something that comes up where they deny your product, don't get discouraged because that does happen quite a bit. All you do is find out the reason that it was denied or disapproved and just fix that problem in the feed and then you can move on. If you're interested in having our company manage your e-commerce marketing, please reach out to us by using the application link that's just in the description below this video. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a wonderful day. Also, I would like to say that watch for the next video. We are going to walk through the approval and then we're going to move into the final review to make sure that things were approved. If we did run into any issues, we're going to fix those issues for this test product. And then we're going to move into another video where we're actually going to set up the Google shopping campaign using this product feed that was generated by Google Merchant Center.